This spooky sweet project is part of This Is Halloween, a video hop with several of my crafty friends. Be sure to check out the video description for links to all their cool projects. I've prepped my box by painting the lid with this beautiful deep dark black paint. And that is dry and ready to work with. I've cut my vinyl. I decided to go with one of my favorites, these opal vinyls from Style Tech Craft. I mean, look at that. You see that, how the color changes? Oh, it's so pretty. And it's a little hard to see the designs. There they are. I've got some moons and stars. And because it's Halloween, this will be clear in a second. I've got a skeleton couple, and then I've got some fun stripes that will go on the side of the box. So here comes the tedious part, weeding everything. I've got my trusty weeding tool here. I'm going to put on some of my favorite music and just take my time getting all these designs out. Luckily, this vinyl weeds really beautifully, so it won't be too hard. So I have weeded everything except for the teeth because they are so teeny tiny. So when I have really small details like that, I like to do uh, what's called reverse weeding. I'm going to put the transfer tape on top of my image and flip it over and then weed it from the back. That way the teeth will stay attached to the transfer tape and I can remove the rest of the vinyl that I don't want. piece is completely weeded. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it with that shimmer. And you know, all those little details are a pain to weed, but that's what really makes it, you know, the details. So I'm going to grab this top that I painted. Center them. That looks good. Try to get all those air bubbles out. Oh, I just love the way this opal is going to pop against the black background. start embellishing it with all the extra little pieces like the happily never after and the stars and the moons Isn't that opal vinyl gorgeous? Like, do you see how it keeps changing colors? Oh, that's why it's one of my favorites. So the top is done, and now 
I'm going to add just a couple of random stripes on the side to break up all this pink and to help tie it in with the cover. And my Halloween box is done. I just love the contrast of that matte black with the opal vinyl. It helps set it off. And it's just kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? Ooh, look at all those colors. So pretty. So now I have a box that I can fill up with lots of goodies and it'll also make a great keepsake box. Have fun crafting and creating for Halloween. Don't forget to check out the other artist linked in the video description so you can find more amazingly haunting ideas to make for Halloween. Ciao!